Welcome to the LakeFS tutorial series. My name is Paul. Today we're going to set up a local instance of LakeFS. This is super useful for prototyping, for testing common LakeFS commands, and getting familiar with the UI. Let's get started. We'll start from the LakeFS website, which is lakefs.io. Nice, short, and simple. And head to the documentation pages. From here, we'll go to the quick start, um, install LakeFS, and on this page, we'll see a one-line command we can copy and paste into a terminal window. My terminal of choice is iterm2. It should be yours as well. And of course, this requires Docker to already be installed and running on your machine to work. So we'll hit enter and see some crazy log messages appear, uh, some LakeFS ASCII art. I think this is ASCII art, I'm not 100% sure, but whatever it is, um, underneath it, um, we see a link to the setup endpoint. So we can copy that, paste it into our browser, and we are prompted to enter, to create a admin user. Uh, we'll go with admin, which is a reasonable default, hit setup. And now we're brought to a page um, where we see a key and secret ID generated for this user. Uh, these will be needed on the next screen to log in. So uh, we should save them with the green download configuration button and open. Um, let's go to the login screen and copy those in. Access key, secret, and click the blue login button. Now we're in the LakeFS UI. From here we can create our first repository, add data to it, create branches from that data, and all sorts of fun things that we'll cover in a future video. I hope this was helpful and you try uh, getting LakeFS running locally yourself. Thanks for watching.